All right, everybody, Chase March here, and I'm gonna show you how to make a mixtape that's fully tracked, just like an album. First thing I'm gonna do is create a new folder on my de desktop, and I'm just going to call it mixtape. Okay, I already have two folders open here in Audacity. This is the mix set I just made. It's got MOP, Graffiti Logic, and on the third track, we have Bush Babies. Now, Audacity won't let you track an album when you have three tracks. So what you need to do is make it to one. So go file, go export, it'll get it in an MP3. Then open your full MP3 mix and you'll have something that looks like this. I showed you how to do that on a previous tutorial. If you missed it, go to chasemarch.com and you can find it. So rewind, start right at the start, go to tracks, add label at selection. Now this is gonna create a label track that you can just type the songs that you played. So I'm gonna type in the first one as 01.mop get yours. That way I have all the information I need for that track. And if the folder puts it in alphabetical order, it'll keep it in numerical order for my mixtape by starting it with 01. About the three and a half minute mark, you can see where this song ends and a new one begins. So I'm gonna press play. Okay, you could hear MOP still overlapping over there. I wanna get the track so it's gonna start just with Graffiti Logic, so I'll move over the cursor, see if it plays good. That's a good start, so add another label. Call this 02.Graffiti Logic Can I Get a Yo? Now my computer's a little bit slow, so I apologize for the lag time here. But that will come up very shortly. You can see where the third track begins, around the 8 minute mark. Move my cursor over there, hit play. Right about here, right around the 8 minute mark is when the next track plays by itself. I like that. So right about there is where I want to do my new label because that just has Bush Babies and you can't hear the Graffiti Logic layering over it. So type this in as track three, Bush Babies, we run things. Now you would continue to do this for your mix. If it's an hour and a half long, you're gonna have to do this for all 20 tracks. So I've done it for all three tracks. Then we go to file. Instead of export, this time you're gonna export multiple. Okay, it's gonna ask you to choose a folder. It, you know, it's going to my Valentine's mix there. I don't want it to go there. Obviously, I want it to go to my new mixtape, which I created on the desktop file as mixtape. There it is. So click OK, click export. It's not going to export it right away. Right now this has the track, all the information of the Snow Goons, MOP and the Snow Goons track. I can change this if I want. Delete all this. You can see I got this record from the record pool. Alright, I can put my name in as the artist because this is my mixtape. And the track title, I should have kept that as MO, MOP, get yours. Shouldn't have erased that one. But the album title is my mixtape, whatever you want to call it. Okay, there's track one. Now it does the same thing for track two. So Chase March is the artist, album title, my mixtape. Same thing for track three. And get rid of all this stuff. You don't even need to tag your thing like this. It's not really relevant. It's going to be in a file, but it's kind of nice to have that information on there. Click OK. Now you'll see it start to export it. I'm exporting at 96 kilobytes, which is really 
a low format. If you're doing music, you want to use at least 128, but I wanted this to go a little bit quicker just for our purposes here. I don't actually need to show you the entire thing, but what's going to basically happen is when you open up that file, the folder mixtape on the desktop, you will th see those three songs fully tracked and they're going to totally mix together and play perfectly fine on your on your VLC player or whatever you're playing your mixtapes with. If you want to do it on iTunes, I'm going to show you what you have to do to make it a seamless mix in the next tutorial. So, thanks for tuning in. This is the way to make fully tracked mixtapes where it's not going to be one long file like you saw on the screen here where it's just one 12 minute or 90 minute file. This is going to be three files with three songs that you can skip like all good albums and mixtapes. Thanks for tuning in. Go to chasemarch.com for more.